हाय वेलकम टू द सेवन्थ लेक्चर ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एंट्रॉपी सो वी ऑल नो दैट एंट्रॉपी इज डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल यस नाउ देर आर टू डेफिनेशन्स ऑफ एंट्रॉपी फर्स्ट वन इज द फिजिकल डेफिनेशन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज क्वालिटेटिव डेफिनेशन सो वॉट इज द फिजिकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ एंट्रॉपी सी इट इज ए मेजर ऑफ द रैंडमनेस और डिसऑर्डर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन द सिस्टीम ओके सो इन अदर वर्ड्स वी मे से दैट एज डिसऑर्डर इन द सिस्टीम इंक्रीजेस द एंट्रॉपी ऑफ द सिस्टीम ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी दिस फिगर सो इट इज ए सॉलिड देन दिस इज लिक्विड and this is gas so what we care what we can say about this diagram so when we consider a solid form it is highly ordered system when we consider liquid form it is less ordered system while when we see the gaseous form it is the least ordered or highly disordered system so while going from solid to liquid to gaseous form the entropy of the system increases now why entropy increases because disorder in the system increases or randomness in the system increases so entropy is a measure of the randomness or disorder of molecules in the system this is the physical definition of entropy now second one is the thermodynamic definition or we may also say that it is a quantitative definition of entropy so what is the definition c ds is equal to dq reversible upon t yes ds is equal to dq reversible upon t now what is ds so when we write that small d before the entropy s yes, that ds is the differential change in entropy don't forget it what is ds ds is differential change in entropy then what is dq reversible dq reversible is the infinitesimal quantity of heat absorbed in a process taking place under reversible conditions at temperature t and t is the temperature so this is the thermodynamic definition of entropy and it is given the uh, meaning of the terms involved in that definition now uh, these are the two properties of that entropy important properties first one is entropy is a state function okay now what is mean by state function the function which depends upon the initial state and final state of a system is called as state function so entropy of a system depends upon the initial state of a system and final state of a system and it does not depend upon the path followed by the system therefore entropy is a state function okay this is first then second entropy is an extensive property okay so we should know the difference between extensive property and intensive property now what is mean by extensive property a property of a system whose magnitude depends upon the amount of matter is known as extensive property okay and opposite to extensive property there is an intensive property which does not depend upon the amount of matter now what are the examples of extensive property like mass volume internal energy heat content free energy enthalpy entropy heat capacity surface area energy etc these all are the examples of extensive property okay now when we consider the mass mass is an extensive property okay as mass is an extensive property heat is also an extensive property and uh, we have seen the thermodynamic definition of entropy that is ds is equal to dq reversible upon t okay so as uh, dq is an extensive property okay so the entropy is also an extensive property okay so you have to remember that uh, entropy 
is an extensive property in competitive examinations always uh, questions are asked on the extensive properties and uh, intensive properties now again two main important points related to entropy first one is for any reversible process delta s is equal to zero now what is delta s delta s it is a change in entropy so when we consider a reversible process okay in that process initially system have suppose certain entropy now after completing that reversible process again system have same entropy which was before the process so the change in entropy for an reversible process is a zero delta s is equal to zero now for an irreversible process the change in entropy that is delta s is greater than zero now see when we consider irreversible process uh, that irreversible processes are the spontaneous processes so when we uh, consider a waterfall in case of waterfall the water falls from the uh, from top to the bottom okay so uh, that is a spontaneous process when water falls from top to bottom on the ground that process is a spontaneous process so it is an irreversible process and for that process the change in entropy is greater than zero now why it is greater than zero see when that water is on the top okay there is a least randomness in that water that flow of water having a least randomness but when that water falls from top, top to bottom the randomness increases okay so there is a increase in randomness or increase in disorder therefore change in entropy that is delta s is greater than zero now we have to consider the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy now what is the law c the entropy of an isolated system increases in the course of a spontaneous change so uh, what uh, it, it is what which we have seen earlier side earlier slide the entropy of an isolated system increases in the course of a spontaneous change so that uh, waterfall or the falling of water from top to bottom it is a spontaneous change so delta s total is greater than zero where s total is the total entropy of the system and its surroundings okay now the thermodynamically irreversible processes are spontaneous processes and hence must be accompanied by an increase in total entropy so this is the point again uh, which is related to the waterfall so thermodynamically irreversible process okay now when we consider again the example of waterfall it is an irreversible process and it is a spontaneous process now when we consider any thermodynamic process if that thermodynamic process is an irreversible process then it is also a spontaneous process okay and it must be accompanied by increase in total entropy because the disorder or randomness increases in that systems okay so uh, this is all about the entropy we have to remember that second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy as well as these two points for any reversible process delta s is equal to zero and for an irreversible process delta s is greater than zero okay so this is about the entropy thank you